Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, MCJ Publishing. Today I want to show you how to create an invoice using um, Google Google um, uh, Sheets. Okay. Um, now, of course, you have to have like a Gmail account to get this all started, right? So right now I'm here at one of my accounts. Um, this is one of my accounts here. This is my avatar, right? And I love to use Google Documents, all the different types of apps that they have. I use Slides, I use Excel, I use the document and everything. So we're going to learn how to do an invoice using um, Google um, Sheets. So I'm on my account right now, as you can see. So first I will do, I'll click on New. And we'll scroll down to Google Sheets, right, and go across. And we're going to select template because we're making this for the first time. So we're going to select the templates that they have. Okay, make it simple and easy. So I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to scroll down. They have different types of templates, as you can see here. They have recently used, personal. Let me just scroll down a bit more. I went down a bit too much. Then they have for work. Uh, under the work section, you'll see um, a template called invoice. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so this is basically a simple template, an invoice template in um, Google Sheets. All right. So right now it's loading. As you can see, it's still loading. So I'm going to let that load for a few seconds, and then we will proceed to um, customize this invoice, this template to make your own invoice. Okay, as you can see here on the top menu here is basically standard as you would see in Microsoft um, Excel. You have file, edit, view, the standard um, menus. So um, you can guarantee you'll feel comfortable to use this. It's nothing very much different to if you're using Microsoft um, Excel. Okay, so as you can see here, now first of all, what you would do, I would suggest um, you save this before you proceed. And to do, to do that, up here you'll see um, the default name for this document is called invoice so all you need to do is just rename this let me just put, I'll just put test I'll just okay let me just give it a proper name all right and I'll just click on this blank area here and that automatically saves right so the next thing we're going to do we're going to name this now so you have your company let's go through the invoice itself the template we have the company name, the address, um, of course this is the invoice, and they have what's submitted, I don't need that. We have invoice for, we have the, this will be for your customer, customer name, company name, address, and things like that. Payable to, um, we want them to make a check to if it's, what, if it's put your name here, invoice number, due date, project name. Let me just, let me just scroll up a bit some more. To see what else is here. Okay, now we have the body, real body of the um, the invoice description, quantity, unit price, total price, right? Standard, simple, like I said. Okay, and um, you, of course you could click on the box and change whatever the description is for whatever you're doing. Change your quantity, change your unit price is very simple to do. Just like putting um, let me see um, just change that to make this computer. And maybe just that will be one hour, maybe, and a unit price of 150 per hour. And so let's go down a little more now. Let's see what's happening now. Here you have a subtotal and you have adjustments, if any. So, of course, you may want to delete the adjustments, right? Now, if you want to, now this grand total here is a, this kind of magenta color and it's quite large. So if you want to change that, you could come up here into this is the font color. I would probably put it like a dark blue, maybe this color here, maybe. And I wouldn't have it so big. I'll probably um, reduce the size, maybe about maybe about 14. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you could put it a black whatever color that you want, right? And um, what I like to do too for my voices, I like to come down to the bottom here and just put like um, of course, go to the end here and put um. Thank you for your service. Something like that, right? A little message to your customers. And of course, we're going to, I'm going to um, 
just press my shift and go across I want that to fit center in that particular row so let's see what, what we have here this here is to merge cells we're gonna merge the cells I'm gonna center that so let's click on this box here I'm gonna center that lovely and, and I'm gonna make this a little smaller maybe about uh, let's see 12 okay now what I like to do after this point now I want to view my document to see how it's looking if I need to make any changes but um, I'm stepping I'm going ahead of myself so let's go back to the top and really customize this invoice to our liking right I'm going to change the company name just click on the box and just backspace that and put your company name change address I'll just leave that I'll just leave everything as is right this here um, I don't know what that is about I will just delete that okay and keep in mind that as you go along right notice up here all change changes saved in drive so as you're going along um, your document is being saved so you don't really have to worry about it being saved okay so I'll leave everything as is you best basically customize it to your liking right just click on the box and change whatever you need to change all right so I think this is basic enough to, for this invoice to get you going. So what I like to do next, I'll go ahead and show you. I'll go into File. And I'm going to Print. I'm not going to print. I want to see what my document look, is looking like. So this is a paper size, 8.5 by 11 inches. It's set right now at Landscape. So I'm going to click on Portrait. And this is what it's looking like right now. And it's fitting perfectly on the page. I'm happy with that. This is my um, company's name, the address. Again, you could always change that um, invoice for customer. Of course, you'll change it for your customer name and everything. Customize it to your client, and you can make necessary adjustments for what you're what you're charging them for. And just remember to check your formula, make sure it's working correctly. Let me just come up from here, cancel that, and that's basically it. How to um, create your invoice using um, Google Google Sheets is very very easy like I said before I love using this um, I could use I could edit my documents on my smartphone on my computer I could go anywhere and pull up my documents and use and um, edit my documents I don't really have to worry about having like a jump drive or things like that or you know you know I know it's there is good with Google and it's safe and I don't really have to worry about losing my files okay if you like this um, tutorial click on the thumbs up button Leave a comment for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.